Alright guys, how's it going? So I kind of biffed my intro. With doing all these shorts and stuff like that, I sometimes forget to do it. But honestly, this day I was just so excited. There was so much kind of going on, I just forgot to do it. There was actually a lot about the filming that day that I forgot. It was just, it was awesome. So this is my first goose hunt ever. Uh, I got together with my just neighbor down the street, Ryan. And him and the boys... They go out almost every single weekend during the waterfowl season and just lay it down. This trip was pretty special. It was 13 of us that are out uh, shooting at these geese. We're actually inside the city too. There's one spot in the north, what is it, northwest corner of the perimeter that you can actually hunt on the inside because there's no houses and stuff like that. So we are set up in this 40-acre field and... What can I say? It was a great day. So, I hope you guys liked the video. And if you guys aren't into seeing a bunch of geese getting shot out of the air, just scroll on by and watch a different video. All right? Don't pull that right there. Right behind us. Behind us. Kill him. <laughs> Told you, man, darks always fly early. I got one for sure. I only shot one shell. So I shot two. All right. Well, we've seen a bit of action from some two ducks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two got more and more geese flying in. Kill him right there. Kill him right there. Kill him right there. Yeah! I know. Oh, oh, the dive bomb. Dive bomb. No! <laughs> More dive bombs. You're always breaking my dive bombs, yo. Right on the back. <laughs> oh, man, those guys are probably good. morning, YouTube. Don't worry about the wind. Right here. Right here. Right here. Locked on. <laughs> on the right, take right there. Okay, take them, boys. Dad said there were a bunch of gunners. Birds and decoys. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> they were already going down. Oh, fuck, I thought I was dead. Watch out. Boo! Right there. Oh, decoy down. Oh, decoy down. Oh. 
I may have. Yeah. Hard to, hard to, well, to, hard to, to know. Oh, well, yeah, see, like, we've got tons of guys shooting who actually knows who's shooting. Shit. <laughs> 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 I had been bad luck with my uh, D8 Yield Ithaca. We <laughs> <laughs> uh, stopped working soon. Me and Ryan are now uh, doing the old switcheroo every time <laughs> the flock comes in. Oh, I do that all the time. Um, I guess when I get home, about to rip her apart and see what's going on. <laughs> she slam fired on me. Luckily, I had it to uh, point the same direction. So, but these old guns sometimes they don't want to work the way you want them to. On the ground! On the ground! On the ground! Oh yeah! Nice shot! Three shots, baby! Nice. Yeah, those are blues. That other one's a Canada, though. Headshot, baby! Oh, buddy, I smoked that one. Did you right? see that? Here the wind was absolutely atrocious. You can't even really hear what I'm saying. So I was just saying how freaking awesome of a hunt this was. And then Travis from Keystone Outdoors, which I didn't really get to have too much of a chat with um, this trip. Is just there was a lot of things going on, a lot of people, a lot of moving parts. So um, definitely next hunt we'll definitely get to chat more about it. But yeah, big waterfowl hunter. So. Um, there's a lot of videos on wing shooting and duck shooting and all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, name is Keystone Outdoors. I'll put his uh, channel down in the description. But, yeah, go over there and check it out. It was definitely an awesome experience, and I'm so excited for the next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Not a bad little pile. <laughs>